how much the tickets cost. Um, I'll play some songs. I got a record that's coming out on Friday called Instigator. That is ostensibly why we're here, but I'll play some songs that aren't just from that, too. Hi. Oh. Um, okay, here we go. <laughs> possibly can I come as close to the truth as I ever do I take some liberties I am what I am and that surprises everyone I want to be your instigator Molotov and your clenched left hand I want to be your instigator Jumped on one foot till they fell from my ear A garbage sea thick with steel chips and airplane glue I poured it all in your lap, baby, here You were surprised like anyone I wanna be your instigator Molotov in your clenched left hand on the new record it's called that uh, <laughs> uh, this song is on there too um, I did this thing earlier today which was fairly weird but ultimately cool for Facebook where it was like a live performance two songs and interview thing at, hi and I went in to to do it and it's in like the middle of uh, it's pretty posh like crazy high um, you know like high-rise uh, office building where they have three floors and there's people like watching football and there's people like playing um, what's like table tennis <laughs> and that's just how like Facebook gets coded I guess like these people hang out <laughs> all day and then at some point they're like I feel pretty relaxed let me go into work and you know continue taking over the world but um <laughs> but so it was actually very cool and it was like people were able to ask questions and and I was like type you know reading them off a prompter and answering them in real time and some kid <laughs> was like I guess in New York or on the east coast somewhere and he was like I'm cracking open a cold one at 10 a.m. and watching me do this <laughs> session and then like a bunch of people which I didn't see till afterwards said I had to play this song which is called Day Drunk and it is also on the new record and uh, I didn't play it and it was a real missed opportunity but I'll, I'll play it now. Sound like someone is like brandishing a whip out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just Fuck the local cowboy. <laughs> That's just the local cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> There's the one everywhere. The one local cowboy everywhere. In New York is naked. Them. <laughs> you can't escape them. You'd love to escape them. All right, sorry. Here we go. Serious shit. Come on. Day drunk is what I want to be when I'm tired. I wanna blow it out 
what I used to be No Jimmy Buffett songs, no island imagery It's old men, dying retirees Bellies on the bar, elbows up with me I was 25 Parachute, the great escape from comatose to wide awake. You are the drill, you are the test, the big inviting nothingness. The parachute, the great escape from some place to any place. David, there he is again. <laughs> I saw his, his little polar right, right there. Um, and this isn't a story, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was literally just going to talk to you. I'll tell you about what I was going to tell you. Being on tour here in 2003 and reading an article in a magazine about how he was going to break in America, and then reading, this is what I was just telling you, and then reading how much money they spent to make him a star in America and it never happened. But now he's back, and I just found out he does like kind of EDM or something. So. Anyway, this song's about crazy. <laughs> um, now this is a little nice love song, hopefully. It's for Muffin. <laughs> so. I can't say I'm underrated. I can't say it's so. I can't say I'm underrated, but I know, I know, I know. She says, watch your ego, baby. She says, take it slow. She says that's a bad look, honey. I know, I know, I know. It gets so lonely inside my mind. But I'm surrounded in love all the time. I get stuck in simple phrases, complicate straight lines. If there's a knot that don't need tying, I try, I try, I try. She's no font of Christ-like patience, and neither sir am I. But we're honest in our imperfections, or I try, I try, I try. It gets so scary inside my mind. I turn straw men to monsters, and line their mouths with knives. I say I can't race forever, can't raise the rock so high. She says, no one says you have to let go and take your time. It gets
gets distorted inside my mind Isolation, disconnection, another person's life I say I can't race forever, can't raise the rock so high She said no one says you have to let go and take your time let go and take your time. Let go and take your time. Is it okay to do another quiet one? Yeah. And then we'll do a really loud slayer song. Rain and blood. Um, this is a. Uh, I'll just play it. It's better said. It's better sung than said, at least by me. Talking these Freddy Gray blues. I'm talking what happened to you. You were just 25 when they ended your life. When to serve and protect meant break your leg, snap your neck, meant to kill you, to sever your spine. No matter what, there's no good reason why. Talking these killer cop blues. I'm talking my family to you. See, my dad was a cop, and his dad was a cop, and my uncles are cops, and my cousins are cops. I'm partly here because of cops, and I love all those cops. I know not every cop's a racist murdering cop, but this is bigger than the people. I love the system's broken, not breaking, it's done. Talking white privilege blues, talking confession to you. Can't know what it's like to be afraid all my life Looking over my shoulder behind each officer or coroner Entrenched in equality, no access, no empathy Crushed in stacked decks, institutions and death This is not my reality, I'm afforded the luxury of shaking my head Shut the screen, go to bed, see I can turn off what you never can And watch it happen again and again And again, and again, and again. I'm talking these Freddy Gray blues. I'm talking these Freddy Gray blues. Anything they want to talk about? Not related to that song, just in general. How are you feeling about the whole Donald Trump thing? <laughs> uh, the question is, how am I feeling about the whole Donald Trump thing? Um, uh, I mean, not great. Um, <laughs> he's uh, a very particular manifestation of a very specific moment in American and world history. He is everything that is wrong with the American experiment. But he just also has given voice to a bunch of even scarier. Mm. He's more like a celebrity, egomaniacal. Cockwomble. That's, that's sure. Right. Right. <laughs> Great word. But, but, but he's kind of a joke. It's kind of a cosmic joke, unfortunately, on all of us or all of me, and maybe, unfortunately, everybody else in the world because of where America sits. But that he's even gotten this far. But I think what's scary to me is what happens in the next 10 or 20 years based on the fringe 
elements in American culture, he's now given a mainstream platform to. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this election is almost like well, whatever happens, happens, and, and then it's like what happens in the next 20 years, which I suspect everyone in this room knows something about given the, what's been happening here. <laughs> so um, what do I think about it? I think he's managed to make somebody who I've never been a super big fan of into like the obvious choice and a sympathetic <laughs> character and all of that, and she's clearly like, it's not even a conversation if you're a thinking person about who's more qualified. Mm -hmm. Although being qualified to be the American president might be, a, I don't know if that's a good thing at this point in American history, but uh, yeah, I think a lot of things about it more than I could probably talk about. On a <laughs> literally, I just need a soapbox. But uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, he's a bummer. Anything else? Hi. When you're writing the songs, do you often start with lyrics? Or chords or sometimes different. it's lyrics I feel like I can you, you can tell the ones that start with lyrics because they're usually and I don't know if I do that as much as I used to they used to when that would happen it was almost like a poem for lack of a well poetry is fine a poem less lack of a less highfalutin word <laughs> and then uh, you could feel the it would be like a lot of verses and it would be almost like an old, uh, like like traditional kind of folk structure. There weren't really like pre-choruses or choruses or bridges, pop songwriting. I like trying to say, she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I like trying to get words that are interesting into a pop structure. And pop in my head is also stuff that was like 1967 or 1994 or something. I don't know how to write a pop song now, but... She knows that. <laughs> She's like, damn right, I've heard your music. Uh, you know Craig David. Uh, but, um, but sometimes it's like a, 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 a phrase in a melody, like a, like a lyric, and then it'll kind of be like, oh, what's the chord under that? And then the song kind of comes forth from that. You pull that string and see what happens, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like you hum something to yourself, and your initial thought is always like, what song is that? And you're like, Oh, it's new. It's nothing <laughs> yet, if that makes sense. Um, and then sometimes it's like a piece of music, and then later you're like, what do I sing over it? I'll play something like that now, because mm. it was like a piece of music for two years before there were words to it. Uh, this song is uh, it was, it's called Little Bulldozer. <laughs> Closer, 
mum. Say again? Mm. You forgot the happy birthday no, one. I, did. <laughs> I didn't forget it. Um, my poor mother was so nervous. Actually, my mom was in the video for that song. <laughs> and uh, she was like, she, I, I can't believe she did it. <laughs> she was very like, what do you want me to do? What do I have to do? Do I just stand here? I was like, just, it's okay, calm down. Um, no one's gonna see this. <laughs> That's not true. She was like worried it was gonna be on like TV. I was like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna play two more. Is that okay? Yeah. Um, and uh, I'll play an old one, and then I'll, I'll finish with a new one. Uh, I'll do quick, three quick ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is because I wanted to play this because this was the first song we shared from this record, and I'll this old, new, done. Okay. Talk after. <laughs> you decoded that. <laughs> Tribeca at 8.45 My brother at a conference room table Watched the future rearrange all our lives I was sleeping in a bed for the future First and twenty and five miles away A roommate knocked, he was a relative stranger Kev, I need you to come out here, okay? Drunk at my desk job Update the database Reflect the deceased Can't if it's Gerald As a digital graveyard Next to each name I typed a lowercase d I was frightened By the face of the future It had the teeth Of perpetual war I called my father He said I know I see it I thought it made sense I don't anymore On my corner, the fire trucks everywhere, the anger, the mourners, no history is dead in the air. The future was an adoring football. We are supported by the will of the world. From the floor, I felt everything tilting. Watched my brother hold his ten month old girl. Fifteen years later, and we're still in the future. The blood and money didn't fix anything. We've grown accustomed to the depths of the danger. This is the future, severe and always happening. The mask on my corner. The fire trucks everywhere, the anger, the mourners, no history is dead in the air, no history is dead in the Anything anyone would like to hear? Mm. Cotton crush. Okay, first one. That was that was the but rule. Get in there. That was yeah. the rule I had in my head. So <laughs> you, you win. <laughs> um, first, I will Hydrate. drink this water. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this moment to point out that banquet is selling. The I don't care about your band T-shirt, which I don't think they just had up special for me today. I think it's just been up there, right? Uh, I don't know if they might have one. They might have more than one. I have no idea. But if you want one, they have it. <coughs> I thought if you were at this in store, you might be predisposed to want a shirt like that. Um, they have a bunch of other shirts too. Nuclear Blast, <laughs> like a sexy nun on a Bayside T-shirt. <laughs> it's a really weird shirt. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you can look <coughs> at the rest of their clothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also, I think you've got the split with Jesse, besides a bunch of instigator stuff. So, yeah, yeah, oh, there the it is. Um, oh. And a really amazing, provocative cover for the Jamie T single. <laughs> <laughs> a ruddy-faced man with a ball gag in his mouth. I, I think can't. you put the job here. 
I do. I try to shoot even higher. This is Banquet Kevin speaking. <laughs> that was, that was my, my go-to. I answered like four calls. I'm not fucking around. It was, it was, um, but I would work here in a second. I'd do it for free. You guys are fucking awesome. You always treat me so great. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, it's like a, one of a... I say this every time I'm here. The fact that it's still here, the fact that it's still doing so well, the fact that it's so embedded in the community is a wonderful thing because these places are getting fewer and farther between, mm -hmm. and it's like a real privilege to get to be like a part of the culture here. So thank you for having me, and um, and uh, here's the song. <laughs> get laid, and then they get torn up and laid again. The bricks always get torn up again. And your friends won't wait, so don't believe that shit if they say they'll wait. Just trust me, your friends will not wait for you. Then you'll be stoned in some park It's not in your head and pinching your arms When a girl walks along, she's humming your song Your t-shirt on and that's when you're done No, that's when you're That's when you're done, that's when you're done That's when you're done, that's when you're done In the southern states, but back up here, man, we got so much spread in space to waste, waste, waste. There's a microphone picking every word up and it shuts itself off. And she let us hear. Sift through the static for simpler sound, yeah. A simpler sound, simpler sound, simpler sound than the shit that's clouding our heads now. Whoa, whoa. I will remember that summer. As the summer I was taking steroids Cause you like a man with muscles And I like you Be the last song. Thank you for taking the trip. Thank you for coming. Oh, that was like right on cue. <laughs> I know. That was really like almost like she was. <laughs> I would love it. If, it would be so awesome if that's what, how you, what you train her to do. She do better things to train her to do. One time we're at the in store with Kevin. Um, yeah, you guys are fucking great. Always. Thank you for letting me do this. Thanks for coming back and checking it out and always caring about it, and I will be back in February. Uh, not in Kingston, I don't think, no. or we don't know, maybe, but not, not uh, for, we're playing at the Dome, Dome in Tufnell Park on the 3rd of February, which I guess the closest to here, and that'll be full band stuff, and I think that it's the first full band headlining tour we've done since Between the Concrete and Clouds, which was in 2012, where we mm. did play here upstairs somewhere. Brixis. That's it, that's it, that's it. And who knows, it might be the last, I mean, it might be 2022 before it happens again. So, um, 
And by that point, President Trump will be in his fourth term. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have exited Europe and then exited Earth. Um, but, uh, but, but so if you're around, come out to those shows. And thanks for coming today. I'm Kevin. I'll speak to you in like two minutes when the stage gets disassembled and I pee. And, uh, and uh, this is it. I hope you enjoy the record and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Themselves. Invite them in, wish them well The way I feel and the way I guess I felt I was 23 and crazy Frightened, overwhelmed and angry You said that's not how I see you, you treat yourself unfairly. Don't treat yourself unfairly. I was alive back then. I was alive back then. I was alive back then. I remember when. Christmas, we were wrestlers, Barrage Parkway, our apartment, we were fast and best friends, we were just little kids, you were Lenny Dykstra and I was Wally Backman, they were Mets. This was before I got so lonely With my lovers, with my family Scared of living, scared of dying Scared of being happy I couldn't let myself be happy But I was alive back then I was alive back then I was alive back then I remember when I was 20 Kolinkowski asked me who I Thought I'd marry, I answered her name Years before we would date Years before he'd officiate our wedding You never know, you're never ready But all your fear is just confetti let it blow all round your bedroom when it gets too heavy. Don't let it get too heavy. I was alive back then. I was alive back then. I was alive back then. Nobody asked. If you're ready When they're handing you the baby My mother said, son, you can't imagine You'll have your mind blown, honey You'll be crazy in love, honey And I was alive back then I was alive back then I was alive back then I remember when I 
I was alive back then Now I am again <laughs>